Hey guys, Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve a second order non homogeneous differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients when the right hand side of the equation in standard form is equal to some exponential function. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So here we have y double prime minus 16y is equal to 4e to the negative 3x. And so our first step is we are going to want to find our complementary solution. And the complementary solution is just the solution to the homogeneous version of our differential equation here. So our homogeneous differential equation is just y double prime minus 16y is equal to zero. So our next step is we need to write our auxiliary equation. And remember, all we do is we replace our y double prime with an m squared. And when we have our constant term times y, we just write our constant term. So we end up with m squared minus 16 is equal to 0. And so now we want to factor this. And so this factors out to be m plus 4 times m minus 4 is equal to 0. And solving for our roots, we have m is equal to negative 4 and m is equal to 4. So in this case here, we have two real and distinct roots, and so we have a case 1 situation here, and so that means that our general solution is going to be of the following form. So we have y is equal to c1e to the m1x plus c2e to the m2x, and now let's go ahead and plug in our m's. So for our Complementary solution, we have the following. We have yc is equal to c1e to the negative 4x plus c2e to the 4x. So our next step is now we want to find our particular solution. So next we're going to find yp, and what we need to do is take a look at the right-hand side of our differential equation and take a look at the form of our function here. So we have some constant times an exponential to the negative 3x power. So let's go ahead and Take a guess that yp is going to be equal to ae to the negative 3x. And then from here, let's go ahead and differentiate this. So we end up with yp prime is equal to negative 3ae to the negative 3x. And then let's go ahead and take the derivative one more time. So we end up with yp double prime is equal to 9 a e to the negative 3x. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in yp double prime and yp into our differential equation here. And so we end up with 9a e to the negative 3x minus 16 times a e to the negative 3x is equal to 4e to the negative 3x. And from here we can go ahead and simplify. We have 9a e to the negative 3x minus 16a e to the negative 3x. So this simplifies down to negative 7a e to the negative 3x is equal to 4e to the negative 3x. And from here we can go ahead and set our coefficients equal to each other. So we have the 7a here and this 4 here. So we have negative 7a is equal to 4. And now let's go ahead and solve for a. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 7. And so we end up with a is equal to negative 4 over 7. Okay, so now that we know what a is equal to, we can go back to our yp and plug in negative 4 sevenths for a. So here we have our particular solution. We have yp is equal to negative 4 sevenths e to the negative 3x. And so now we have our complementary solution and our particular solution. So in our last step, step 3, all we need to do is add these two together in order to get our general solution. So let's do that. So we end up with y is equal to c1 e to the negative 4x plus c2e to the 4x, and then minus 4 over 7e to the negative 3x. And so that is our final answer. 
And so that is how you solve a second order non-homogeneous differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients when the right hand side of the equation in standard form is equal to an exponential function. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.